Welcome to MGN TV. I'm Andrew with Indie Direct. If you guys want to check out my channel, link's going to be down in the description. But today we are going to be looking at Exit Limbo Opening from the developers at Virtual Craft Studios. The first episode of this Neo retro side scrolling beat em up that kind of reminds me of Battletoads mixed with Slaughterhouse. The story has you play as Mr. Rhino. Yes, Mr. Rhino. Not much thought put there, but. He is the sole survivor of a train crash and wakes up in this dystopian parallel universe where his hometown has been infected with some type of zombie plague. You're soon brought to an underground city of rats from the leader's daughter. Not long after that, she's actually kidnapped and you're asked to help save her and so your journey begins. The story is a little cheeky if you ask me, basically save the princess plot but I'm loving the visuals of the game with its 2D characters, 3D world, and the soundtrack is one hell of a banger. I can't deny that. On your way to save her though, you will fight three bosses in this chapter, a ram, a hog, and whatever the hell this thing is. In the end, you're left on a cliffhanger for the next game will continue the story. So of course, I said this game reminds me of Battletoads and Slaughterhouse when I first saw it and I was pretty close. You encounter enemies as you make your way through the city and will run into arena fights as well. For combat, you have your standard X combos and Y grapples. Oh, and I'm definitely, definitely going to recommend you use a controller for this because of the combo system. To pull off the ultimate moves, I guess you can call them, you need to hold back the block and perform variants like back, forward, and X and other variations like this. The combat is a little clunky and your punches don't really feel like you have a lot of weight behind them. Even the zombie sheep take quite the beating before they go down. The combos are all right. I feel like I use that more because trying to combo on punches or kicks is only done through X. I feel like it could have been implemented a little bit better by putting the punch for X and B for kick. Something to add more variety instead of just moving the joystick and hitting one button. But some of the kill animations and the bosses are very unique, but fall a little flat on the move sets. but I guess what boss doesn't? Visually, the dystopian visuals are a great mix between futuristic and destruction, and it has me. The cutscenes are short, but play like a rolling comic book. The 2D characters in the 3D space is a little weird at first, but you quickly get used to it. It's strange they kind of went for this style, but I guess it makes it stand out because it definitely got my attention. The music is a perfect match for this game, a mix of metal and somewhat EDM, but not EDM, that fits this futuristic destruction atmosphere. Some of the boss fights and the town's music had my head banging as I was ripping zombie sheep's heads off. It's relatively short game and the combat side is kind of lacking, but this is the first episode and I'm not usually one for episodic games, but I think this was a smart choice for them to do this. They'll learn from the feedback and fix the mechanics. The story is what I'm really invested in. Uh, the last cutscene really sold me on what it was. It might not just be the story of saving a girl. So, if you do like 2D, 3D battle toad games, this may be a good one to pick up. It's only $7 and you might just get invested in the story like I did. There will be a Steam link down in the description as well as our link to the Discord if you want to jump in and talk. Don't forget to leave a like. It lets us know if we're doing something right, guys. And subscribe if you haven't already. We're always looking at a bunch of brand new games and you don't want to miss out. But like always, guys, I'll see you in the next video and have fun.